¿La cinco? Ok. Hola. Hello. Ok. It's so cold here today. No, hoy no, peor. No, better. This way. Ok. Que la que se vecina soy yo, eh. Ya. Yeah. Today it's gonna be a kind of a strange day. Hola, Linda Berlu. Good morning. Oh my god, it's so cold. It's super windy. So, for the first time on these tours, we are using a microphone. So, hopefully, it works. Hola. Because it's going to be super. Good morning, Linda. <laughs> okay, so it's five o'clock. I've heard the bells. Yeah, it's, it's five, five o'clock. o'clock. Yes. Shall we start? Yes. So, good morning, everybody. This is Fran from Tuesday with Fran. Uh, <laughs> 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 Hi, James. And this is Elo, who is laughing at me. Yeah. Fran. Okay, <laughs> so today we are going to be visiting. Uh, hi, Anne. Uh, hi, Janet. Hello from Colorado. Oh, Hola, lady. That's my cuñada. Ah, vale. <laughs> That's my cuñada. My cuñada, very well. So today we are visiting Vienna. No, Vienna. Vienna, <laughs> no Vienna. Si no podemos salir de Vienna, la Vienna, we cannot leave the state, so we'd like to go to Austria. No, we're visiting Vienna, which is a, I was going to say village, but it's not a village, it's a city. Yes. And if you, by any chance, you make the mistake in this place to say that they are in a village, they will be very, very upset. Okay, so yes. it's a city of 4,000 people that has a lot of history and it is the last stop for the pilgrims in the Camino de Santiago. Okay, here in Navarre. Okay, from here on, they go to La Rioja, Castile, and yeah, all the because way. because we are really near to Logroño. Yeah. Only eight kilometers far oh, away from here. Good morning. <laughs> okay, so Hello. as we are today, we're going to be all day inside of a city. Masks are required. So, here we go. I have my mask of the Silence of the Lambs. Hello, Barbara. <laughs> well, don't you see? I look like the Silence of the Lambs. Okay. Hola, Thais. Good morning. Okay. So, <laughs> it's kind of cold. Well, more than cold, it's very windy today. Okay? It's not cold. Okay, so, uh, good morning, Brenda from Texas. No, tira, tira, no se So, we are in Viana, V I A N A. Uh, and as you see, we have this yellow scallop shell, which is the Camino de Santiago. Okay, so, we are coming in the village of. Uh, Vienna. I don't know if you guys can hear Elo. Okay, so can you talk Elo and see if they can uh, listen to you? Okay. Can you hear me please? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you can, yeah. because as we are using the microphone it's kind of weird. So the village of Vienna, uh, we know around here the we have prehistoric uh, settlement, 4,000 years before Christ. Yes. yes. So we've always had civilization living in here. Uh, the thing is that the city, back then, the village of Vienna, was founded in the year 1219 yes. when a king of Navarre, well, by the way, we are going to be all day, all this tour, walking on the Camino de Santiago, okay? But it is the symbol of the pilgrims of the Camino de Santiago. Okay, I guess there's like a whole bunch of kids coming in. Might as well let them go. It's like, Okay. Hello, they can hear you. Yes, okay, thank perfect. you. So uh, it was founded in 1219 uh, by a king of Navarre called Sancho el Fuerte. Okay, Sancho the Strong, Sancho the Seventh, the Strong, the Strength, the, uh, the Strong. And he, we call him the Strong because he was uh, super, super high. He was almost seven foot high, seven foot tall. Okay. Uh, okay. Before the Camino goes that way. And here we have a little plaza uh, where we have a couple of buildings that are very interesting. And both of them, uh, we have to go back in time to the 12th, 13th century. Here we have always had cells, okay? Uh, not bull fighting, but bull running, bull playing. More playing than running. Yeah, more playing and than running. Bulls, it's a uh, vaquilla. Baby bulls. Baby bulls. Baby bulls. Yes. Okay, so the thing is that. Uh, where we are right now, in this uh, in this plaza, is where they used to have all of that. Okay, for every, for ages, always this has been the place. The thing is that the city hall did not have uh, a good place to watch that, and they ordered the construction of this 
building on the 1700s and the most important thing is that that huge balcony that goes from one side all the way to the other it was the balcony to watch the bull place in here okay yeah. uh, only of very of course not for everyone not only for, everybody. for the most important people for, for the, the VIPs <laughs> in town yeah. all the politicians the doctors, doctors okay important. Uh, also the musicians would go up there okay so that was a very cool thing but that is a civil building uh, uh, sorry, a uh, building from the government, but this beautiful palace that you see here, it was, uh, well, it is from the 1700s, uh, and it, is pri it was private and it's uh, still private. The thing is that this building has been sold many times and has a very special characteristic, because here the bull plane has always been very, very important and uh, everybody wants to watch it from all of these balconies. So when the first owners, the original owners of this house sold the house, they sold everything except those four balconies that you see there, okay? So those four balconies up there, one, two, three, and four, they still belong to the original family. And during the week of the celebration, which is in September, they knock on the door, hi, we're coming here to see the Bulls Fair. So I think it's a very pretty cool thing that they still did. Okay, so let's. It's very curious. It's very curious. At least I mean, it's curious, yes. I mean, you're the owner of your whole house except the balcony. Everyone. <laughs> it's like well, by the way, here also they would have all the plays and all the theater and everything in Middle Ages. They would do it in this little plaza. Okay. Back then, uh, they would put stages or something like that, and they would do all the plays. Okay, about the economy of the village of uh, Viana, uh, we are in the Camino. So the biggest uh, economy always has been the Camino. The Camino, the pilgrims, all the money being left, food, and housing, the whole thing. Uh, and there is a saying in Spanish that says, con pan y vino se hace el camino, which means with wine and bread, you walk the way. Well, here, uh, those are <laughs> the other two big economies. Wine, and not bread, but cereal, okay? Uh, <laughs> I think the first, first, first one is wine. Yeah, I mean, yes. the, the number one, yes. especially it's today, number the number one. one economy in the village of Vienna, it is the wine production, okay? So wine production here, it's a huge thing. Uh, a secondary thing, it is the grain. Here we grow oat and especially wheat to make flour, okay? Uh, so about the wine production, here, uh, all what you can see, all of these houses that we see up here and all of these streets and everything, it is said that it is only half of the city of Vienna because the other half, it is underground. There is more space of this village underground than on top because all of these, back then, they were cellars, okay, to storage and age the wine, etc., etc. Also, uh, as they were, there's a lot of humidity and it was very quiet, it was very cool. So, also, the, it was used to produce mushrooms, okay? So, this is a very mushroom. It's really funny to know that. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> mushrooms here? Yes, it's a huge, huge thing uh, to grow mushrooms, okay? But the wine production, it is probably the most important thing in the village of Vienna, okay? The wine, it is a huge, huge, huge thing. Okay, so we are reaching probably the most spectacular church in Vienna. Uh, it is the church of Santa Maria, yeah. Holy Mary. Almost as big as a cathedral. Yes, it is as big as a cathedral, although it's not. Okay, let me zoom in because the wooden ceiling up there, it is, oh, sorry, there we go. It is incredibly beautiful. Okay, okay, so the church of Santa Maria, if you see this part, all of that is gothic, okay? Uh, is you, we see the flying buttresses, we see the pointed arches. I want to visit and see this in person. Yes, Leslie, come on here. So the church started uh, the construction in the year 1250 and it ended the construction in the year 1312. Okay, 
uh, the guy right behind me is opening the pharmacy of the village <laughs> with a very, very loud... <laughs> Sorry for that. And now he's closing it. <laughs> okay, might as well acknowledge it. Uh, the guy is closing it. Sorry for the sound. Yay! Thank you. Okay. Back to the church. So, yeah. as I said, the church itself, it is gothic, but yeah. this amazing front, it is um, Renaissance style, it is from the 16, uh, 1500s, 16 uh, century. century, okay, 1600, uh, it's a beautiful Renaissance, and let's, unfortunately, part of the wooden ceiling that we see up there, it's not in the best condition, and that is why it is closed, we are not allowed to get a little bit closer to here but let's take a look inside of the church okay let's see if i can put the camera okay let me see if i can put the camera uh, inside of the gate yay okay okay thank you this is not going to be easy because i don't fit in here so we have the representation of jesus christ crucified up there with the two thieves we have saint john and the holy mary we also have Longinus, who is the one that stabs Jesus Christ on the side. Underneath, we have Jesus Christ uh, dead, which is very beautiful. Okay, so we have the life of uh, the passion of Jesus Christ. And all the way on the top, we have Jesus Christ arriving to heaven. Okay? But the most important thing, or the most famous thing in Vienna, it is it's not other. Not really it is down, down here. That. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Cesar Borgia. Cesar Borgia is buried in here. Okay, so right. let's okay. take this out. Let's show you an image of Cesar Borgia. Okay, sorry. There. Okay, here we go. Hold it, hold it, hold it. So, we're talking about this good-looking man, Cesar Borgia. So, uh, let us walk a little bit. Uh, let's find a place where this is not too windy. Because uh, Cesar Borgia, the Borgias, uh, you know, the, the Borgia Pope, uh, Alexander VI, a lot of people don't know uh, that they were Spanish. Okay? They were from Valencia. Their last name was not Borgia, it was Borja. But when they made it into Rome, uh, they wanted to have it a little more Italianized name, and that's when they were named Borgia. Okay. Uh, the thing is that <laughs> uh, Alexander VI, the Pope. Uh, okay, please do not be offended, and please do understand that we're talking about a time period when religion was not what we are, what we understand as today. Okay. So the thing is that Cesar Borgia, he had several kids, okay? He was a very powerful pope, and he had many, many kids. Uh, illegit illegitimate, uh, there, there has been counted up to 11, okay? Uh, probably the three most important ones are Cesar Borgia, Lucrezia, Lucrezia. and Giovanni. Right? The thing is that, uh, let's tell the story a little I'm gonna try to go a little bit fast. Okay, what I'm gonna do is turn the camera around and do a little panel around this little square yeah. as I explain you the, the life well, of we are Cesar. Yes. yes. So the thing is that Cesar Borgia, he was born in 1475. He was born uh, in Italy, in Rome, okay? He was uh, the second recognized son. The first one was Giuseppe. And by the time his father, Alejandro, uh, Alexander VI, became a pope, uh, he, his life was traced, okay? Cesar, he didn't, let's say, he didn't decide much. By the age he was 10, he was bishop, okay? Bishop of the city of Pamplona. Oh, 16, sorry. 16, 16 he was bishop of the city of Pamplona. Yes. Okay? 19, Our hometown. Yes. By the time he was 19, he was, he was a cardinal. Yes. Okay? He was first archbishop. So, archbishop. Archbishop of Valencia. Of Valencia, and after, and then, with twenty, with twenty, he, he was a, a cardinal. cardinal. Okay, so yes. a cardinal, you have to understand that he can be become a pope. But the thing is that he was a big soldier. Okay, so he wanted to go to war. But 
that honor of controlling the troops of the Pope was given to his brother, Giuseppe. Okay? The, mayor, claro. the oldest one. Okay, it's 515. Uh, <laughs> so the thing is that uh, Cesar Borgia, he is not happy with that. This religious, uh, how do you say, religious life. And let's say that by accident, accident, it was an accident. <laughs> it was an accident. We didn't know what happens. In we fact. were not sure. In 1497, uh, Giuseppe, the older brother, dies. It is said that chances are that Cesar is the one who killed him. Because uh, now, who is going to lead the troops of the Pope? Well, it's going to be him. So the Pope, his father, allows him to stop being a priest and he is going to be the leader of the uh, troops of the Pope, okay? So, very intelli uh, intelligent move for him. It was an accident. It was an accident. He didn't get to do it. <laughs> the thing is that uh, two years later, uh, well, they tried to marry him with this girl, this other girl. At the end, he ends up getting married to Charlotte of Albrecht, who is the sister of the King of Navarre, where we are right now. Okay, uh, they have one. It, yeah, this is like a soap opera. Okay, this is totally soap opera. I think it's that. Well, by the way, I'm pointing at this because here you can see the shield of the Pope. Okay, so. Uh, so uh, that's why I'm pointing so much at that coat of armor, that shield. Okay, so the thing is that. Uh, so. He has all of this power. The thing is that, unfortunately for him, uh, his father, uh, Alejandro, dies. Okay. In 1503. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> and that is the moment the power of uh, Cesar Borgia starts to go down. Okay. Little by little, his power starts going down and minutes and minutes and minutes. And he has to run away. And uh, he comes to Spain first, where the Catholic kings, they get him into prison, okay? He runs away from prison, and where does he go? To see his brother-in-law in Navarra. In Navarra, Juan de Albert. And he comes all the way to here. And the thing is that uh, as he is here, uh, there was a big fight, there were wars. This is the end of the kingdom of Navarre, okay? And uh, he, I, there's one big fight, and uh, at the end, uh, he is killed. We don't know if his troops betrayed him in 1507. He was only 32 years old. He died. He died and he was buried here inside of this church. This is the Gothic entrance. Okay, this is, this is the, the, same, the old. Same this is the same church. Okay, this is the old entrance uh, to the church. He came his body through here and. Uh, we, he was buried inside. The thing is that uh, about 70 years after he was buried, there was a bishop from La Rioja. La Rioja, from very close to here, and he said, you know, that son of a gun should not be buried inside of a church. And here's one of those 16th century uh, issues. He was buried in the middle of the street. Here? <laughs> So, with a little plate on top of it saying that this way all humans and animals would step on top of him, okay? Which I think is kind of heavy. <laughs> I think it's that uh, centuries later it was removed to where we show you, okay? That place where we show you, it is where he is buried now. And the tradition is that when you walk inside of the church through that gate, that today it is closed, we cannot go because of the danger of wind and everything can fall, things fall. Uh, everybody steps on him, okay, and says, you know, uh, you're not a good human being, you're not good. Okay, so that was the story of Cesar Borgia. See, shall we go? No, it's not nuestro. Okay, so uh, let's continue with our visit with this beautiful palace that was a private palace, it's uh, from the 1700s, it's a baroque building. Uh, now it is the city hall of the village of uh, Piano. Right? It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, what else? 
Uh, another very important thing about Vienna are the fountains, okay? Uh, here, although there is a lot of humidity, uh, we have the Ebro River. Ebro it's the largest river in Spain. Uh, it's very close to here. We can, uh, we can see it from Vienna. The thing is that uh, this city was constructed uh, as a defensive against Castile. You have to think that two kilometers away from here, back then it was the Kingdom of Castile, although now it is La Rioja. Okay, so this was a huge walled city, and there are only four gates into the village, four doors that one, we came through one, and uh, nobody could come in or out. So they could lock themselves in, and bringing water inside of the city was a very, very important thing because they could not go outside to the Ebro River to get yes, the water. And don't forget the pilgrims because they came walking from Estella, yeah, and the they need. They need a lot of water for the, for the Camino, for the walk. So that was a big, big thing. About talking about the pilgrims of the Camino de Santiago, uh, here has always been a very important thing, the pilgrims of the Camino. And the building that we are reaching now, now it's closed, but uh, it was constructed. This is a Gothic building from the 1400s. And this was the uh, hospital for poor people and pilgrims. <laughs> okay, so it was a civil hospital, a not not a religious one, which is very which unusual. Is very unusual in that in that time. Yeah. Back then, all the hospitals, especially for pilgrims, they were normally religious. Okay, run by priests and, uh, and poor people. That and too, yeah. Yes. So this one was uh, civil, and it was a pilgrims hospital and for poor people which is yeah. kind of amazing i think <laughs> okay so uh the one for rich people oh, i don't know have an i don't know where yeah. they <laughs> they had to go the yeah. wealthy uh, another thing we were talking before about a little bit about the wine here in the village of uh Vienna, although we are in navarre here the production of wine it is uh, dio uh, rioja Okay, yeah. probably you have heard Rioja wine. So uh, here they produce Rioja wine. Right? So most of the a lot of everybody says, okay, Rioja wine is from La Rioja. Yes, but as we yes. are so you close ask, to it, you can ask for a Rioja Navarro. Yeah, it is quite different, and uh -oh. it is because it's. Ooh. Okay, the car is going to the way. It is because it's really similar conditions. From here to La Rioja, more yeah, than I mean. from Navarra's wine. So this beautiful church that is in ruins, we're going to go inside, which is a great privilege to be able to come inside of here. I love that part. I love this church, yes, yes because it's like a little bit creepy. It's, it's so cool. Thank you, Patricia. So this is the church of San Pedro, okay? This is the oldest one in town. It is from the 1300s. No, sorry, from the 1200s, yes. this 13th century. Although, okay, let's not be oh, run yeah. over by the police. <laughs> right, so, uh, the gate that you see, it is Baroque, it's from the 18th century, okay? It's a beautiful, beautiful gate. But... Yeah, it is because in the, in the 18th century, we have some wars here in Navarra, and uh, the church suffered a lot and it almost get destroyed because of that it is in ruin it's in ruins mm -hmm. yes so imagine when this was constructed but look at this now i mean we get to see it's open air absolutely everywhere it's, it's amazing i love this <laughs> not church anymore yeah. The only thing we have is this side, where they still keep yes, some because beef. they have been working many times yes. here for trying to restore a part of the of the church, and now it's open and people come yeah, here. Now there's no problem that is going to fall like or anything. For children. But this I love all of these remaining paintings in many churches uh, everywhere. The inside paintings are totally gone here. Although the church is gone, we still have the paintings. 
the details are amazing. You are right. Because they have been working here. Yeah, they have been restoring this, this painting. I mean, look at that. I think it's so gorgeous. And here you have another painting. I love this church because it's the feeling. I mean, uh, <laughs> Patricia says, I love Navarra. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look, I mean, uh, besides, we're having a beautiful, beautiful day, okay? <laughs> which is this always helps. <laughs> oh, the, the, the problem with the wind, which is the biggest issue. Yeah. But having this half, you know, no ceiling. And, okay, I'm coming all the way to the end because what I love. It's especially the head of the church. Look at that. Okay. The rose window, it is totally torn apart. It is like a war has gone through here and has not been restored. So it is a little bit decadent, a little bit weird. So it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. <laughs> There's another Patricia who loves Navarra. Yay! Two Patricias who love Navarra. <laughs> Trees can't wait to come to Navarra. Yes, please come over. We miss you guys. Okay, vamos a. You will. Go. You will be able to come, and hopefully the vaccines will go very well. Okay. Oh. Sorry for the wind. Okay, so let's try to get away from the wind. Okay, okay, okay. The church surreal, exactly, it's very surreal. It is so strange. And the feeling, and especially today with this strange wind, so sunny, it is like totally, yeah, it's surreal. I, I think that's the perfect explanation to it. It's like. I love this place. It's okay. Oh my god, it's so cold. <laughs> There's a tiny little hotel, beautiful, in here. Look at the shadow. Ah, oh, qué bonita la luz. Ay, la sombra. So it's a three-star hotel. It's beautiful. It's... Uh, yeah, uh, no, it's, it's closed. It, it, they have good food. Le llamas a Mari Carmen. Okay, Mari Carmen. Hay un botón verde. So, I, I told you that we are... Uh, no, no, al fondo, dentro, 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 dentro. So, I tell you that uh, the tradition of the Camino, the Camino de Santiago says that with, wi with wine and bread you walk the way. Here, I tell you that we have a lot of flour, and what we're going to visit, it is an oven. Uh, well, if she's here, <laughs> Ella is going to go detrás de la furgoneta blanca. So, we are coming in this super old... Uh, oven okay uh, they've been they have been working for 125 years always in the same family the light is amazing you are right that is so beautiful she <laughs> Mari Carmen the owner she loves gardening as she told me tomorrow when you come in please show everybody my cactus now I'm obsessed with them <laughs> so I'm showing you her cactus and they're cute so she has all of these beautiful flowers everywhere around now obviously spring is not here yet. Look at the roses. Mira que bonitas. Oh, que preciosidad. They're so gorgeous. Yay. Okay. Si, ya está. Okay. So let's come in. <laughs> oh, uh, Ellie say, oh God, it smells so good here. Well, really, here in the bakery, uh, well, basically, yeah. It smells very good, but always in the village of uh, Vienna, we always, it always smells to cookies. The reason? You know Oreo cookie? You know Oreo. It's not a secret. <laughs> you know Oreo cookie? It is produced in this village. Uh, the and cookie. Always smell Oreo cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody likes your. Well, let's talk. Uh, I like how the plants are portal, right? With the yes, it's so beautiful. How she keeps her little garden. She told me, please do not get a salir or no, no. no. <laughs> she told me, please do not. I don't want to come in. Okay, I don't want to show. 
me dicen que tienes las flores preciosas. Les he enseñado tus cactus. Ok, so, uh, first, hello, can you please uh, get the gimbal? Because yeah. I have to wash my hands. They had me. Ok, because, oh. Ok, so I'm washing my hands. Because I, I told you that this place, they have uh, been doing uh, bread for the last 125 years. Always in the same place. And one of the things that I love is that they have sourdough. And the, the bread that they do, well, they do bread and cookies. And the sourdough that they have, it is 125 years. It is the first one that their great, 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 great grandfather started doing it. And he said, I was here yesterday asking her to explain me a little bit about bread and all that. I said, come and let's see the sourdough. So let's come to see it. As you can see, I have washed my hands. So les enseño la masa madre, ¿vale? Es el último. Oh, that's right. I have the microphone. Oh, we're connected here. So, I wash my hands because she has allowed me. I need you, Elo, to come very close because yeah. I'm going to press and we're going to see if you guys can hear the sourdough breathing. Okay, let's see. Let's be super quiet. Let's see if this one works. Can you guys? Okay, let's. Espera, 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 que te busque. Okay. Te busco. Ya. Yeah, okay. Dale. No, that is the <laughs> temperature <laughs> control. <laughs> okay. So. I. <laughs> the thing is that uh, here, I don't know if you were able to see, hear how the bread breathes. Okay. So that uh, sourdough, every morning, they use part of it, they add the flour and everything, and they continue doing it and growing it and growing it and growing it, okay? And then uh, they come over here, let's come this way, where they have, come over here, yeah. the mass, the, I don't know how you call this, okay, this thing, where they amass. it is, al rojo le doy, no, al verde. Ah, okay. Huh. Okay. As you <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Okay. I know. Okay. So, this is where they do the... I don't know how you say the... Gracias. Thank you very much. Okay, which is super cool. Okay, stop. <laughs> Good. Let's put it the way it was. And uh, one of the things that they showed me yesterday is that they use natural yeast, okay? Which is this. Okay. This is... Uh, where am I? Here. It's natural yeast made of... Uh, ops. <laughs> like the, the same way you do the, the beer, okay? So this is how, what they use. If you could smell it, it smells very bitter. It is like... Uh, it smells like bread. I mean, it's incredible how good it smells. Uh, the, just the system. Okay, I'm going to give you the formula to make bread, which is very simple. Flour, water, and salt, and a little bit of yeast, and then you have bread. Uh, the thing is that bread is obviously much more complicated than only that, okay? But here they still do it very artisanal, super... Uh, they know the, pr the producers of the uh, flour, they knew the producers of the wheat, uh, everything is like super homemade, okay? Which I love it. I love, love, love. If you guys could smell, okay, let me get Me this. Vuelvo. Okay, that's for me. Vale. Eh, it smells. Yes. It's amazingly good bread, yes. And let me. Okay, I'm trying to skip her so you don't get to see her because <laughs> it's like, you know, I haven't gone to the, <laughs> how do you say, <laughs> to <laughs> the hairdresser. She's like, oh, no, 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 please don't put me. Te cojo unas, ¿vale? Yes, I think water is a big difference. Yes. Uh, the water is one of the huge, huge differences. But here, as they have an amazing oven, they also do some very good cookies. Okay, they have from the most basic ones, they're called Españolas, okay? Then they have normal, a uh, little bit butter cookies, 
mantejadas, which are super good. Yes. But probably the most traditional one. Coge una. Ok, we're gonna get one. Ya la tenemos pagada de ayer. A ver la que la vamos a comer. Ok. It's this type of cookie, which is just... Vamos a la mesa, si quieres. Let's go to the table. It is lard, sugar, and cinnamon. That's all... Uh, an egg, sorry. All there is in it. Ok, and they really close them together. And the tradition is that uh, here, all of the, uh, the mothers, let me get this because we are going to eat it. Yes or yes. This smells so good. Parteme un trozo. Bring me, get me a piece, please. Okay. Uh, the tradition is that, no, 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 no. Be <laughs> <laughs> is that the mothers in the house, before their sons, would go to the military service because you have to think that in Spain it, it is mandatory. It was mandatory. It was to go to no the military more. service until 1980s, okay? Uh, I think a little bit more. I didn't do it. Okay, 1990s, okay. Uh, the mothers would come here to this place and themselves would do these cookies to give to their sons as they would go to the military service. Did you okay, know that I one? I didn't know that. Uh -huh. Yes, no one in my house went to the military services. Neither did I. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> They're so good. They're, They're, buenas, eh? They're very good. But the military service in Spain, I didn't go because uh, I have a lot of allergies. Why didn't you go? I have allergies. Okay. I have asthma. So. You know why I didn't uh, go? My husband, it was because he was studying. He was studying. Okay. He wasn't. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I love this uh, bakery. If you come to Vienna, you really, really need to come over here because I have super nice people. Super good things, and I love these and people. And real bread. And real bread. Yes. Yeah, that's amazing thing. But they also have one thing that is amazing, which is where we're going to finish. Okay, le damos la vuelta a la cámara. Nos salimos a la ventana. Okay. Mm. Which is the incredible view from their windows. Okay. This is. Okay. Why Vienna is here? This is exactly. This is the reason. This is. Vienna the reason yeah. why Vienna is here, it's because of this. Over there, that is Castile. Okay? Today, all of this, what we see in front of us, is Rioja, from Rioja wine region. Okay? Yeah. And that mountain over there, it is the Basque country. So from here, you control two possible invaders. Okay? And these, the views from here are super, super How do you know I'm watching? <laughs> Hola, Mary, sunshine, <laughs> Mira, <laughs> somebody knew you're here. <laughs> so you see, and I tell you that we have the Ebro River. So the Ebro River, it's down there, okay? So the water, it's a little bit far, but it is very good, okay? And so all these green uh, countryside, campos? Countryside, uh, yeah. The cereal, the, 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 uh, the, the flower about, comes yeah. all around here. I mean. Let's see if we can zoom in and you can see. I don't know if it's you're yeah. able to see. Yeah, the sun it is too strong. It's too strong. Yeah. But I got, can you guys get to see the wind, uh, the wine fields, and the cereal fields? Okay, so uh, too sunny. Yes, it is too sunny. I think. Uh, me too. Th wouldn't this be like the perfect uh, place to be working? I would always be looking this outside. <laughs> Look at those beautiful mountains. And <laughs> just one stupid little thing. We're going to finish right now. So uh, this is Navarre. And today with the COVID rules, okay, <laughs> uh, we cannot change from one state, from one region to the other. This is Navarre. But right in front of us, uh, we have Rioja, which is a different region. But the road to go from there to there, that little piece, I have to take now in the car to go back home. I have to be about 300 feet on Rioja, and I'm, we are going to be stopped by the police. Because well, where are you coming from? Yes. Uh, where are you going? We're going home. <laughs> where are you coming from? <laughs> and if they don't believe in us, <coughs> we're going to have a ticket. <laughs> so hopefully we will not have a ticket. Okay. Que no, no? So, 
our friends. Ooh, too sunny. Ooh. Oof, 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 quanta luz. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Come this way, hello. Yeah. So, everybody, this is Vienna. As we said, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful village. City, town. city, city, town, city, not village. Yes, it's a city not uh, that I, we love. And uh, it's a beautiful place. has a lot of history. Super good food and amazing, amazing wine. wine. <laughs> The best yeah, part is <laughs> the good wine that okay. they have. I paid the cookies yesterday. <laughs> 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 yes. So, uh, what else? Uh, you all know that we do all of these tours uh, with a lot of love. But if you guys want to leave us a tip, thank you very much. Uh, you have a link to our PayPal uh, and we'll share it. Yeah. So, thank you very, very much, everybody. If not, we'll see you next Tuesday in Tuesdays with Fran. Uh, unfortunately, next week, hello. It's not going to be with us. No. We're going to be visiting uh, the oldest winery, winery in Navarre. It's a Roman winery. It's not in, in work anymore. It is a Roman villa. Super beautiful. So check for the information because I will post it. And next week we are going to go to see an uh, ancient uh, winery. Okay, everybody. No. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Have a great week. And see you next week. Or see you next, next week. week. Or in two weeks we or know. whatever. See whatever. you next Tuesday. Yes. Thank you very much for following us. We love you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.